Hello and welcome to your region this week. I'm Anandi Carol Woolery. It's been two years since they were last able to celebrate. Now the town of St. Mary's is looking to celebrate big time with their homecoming celebration from July 1st to July 3rd. As we count down the weeks to homecoming, we'll be bringing you a new special series on your region this week called Coming Home to St. Mary's. We'll be focusing on aspects of the town and speaking with the locals about what makes St. Mary's home. So homecoming is very important to the town. It's every 10 years we have a special celebration to celebrate all things St. Mary's, to have a look at our past, to invite people to return and celebrate class reunions. I know myself, I've had a class reunion before, which was a lot of fun, bringing people back. And I have very, very fond memories as a kid of there being a big street dance and what seemed like thousands of people on the street celebrating everything St. Mary's. We have tours. Uh, it's, there's a group of volunteers, as a, a group of 23 people I think that are on the committee that have put this together and in conjunction in partnership with the town and we've fundraised with a lot of businesses locally that have supported so that we can have some extra special bands, some different people to come and some events. We're going to have a parade, all sorts of things. So it's, it's a time for people to come and celebrate St. Mary's, to share their memories, to revisit the high school for example and have class reunions and do all sorts of fun things and have a look at some of the new structures we have. Uh, for example, we have a new fire hall and, and not a lot of people have seen it because of COVID and uh, you know revisit the town hall go to the museum go to some of the other things that, that are new in town and people come back and you know people that have lost their parents and sort of drifted away from town or people that have you know lived here before and moved away um, you know it's a chance for them to come back and reconnect with some people and celebrate St. Mary's and share memories that they had before. St. Mary's is a very industrious town. We've had a lot of uh, famous people pass through St. Mary's. Thomas Edison worked as a boy at the local uh, rail yards at one time. Uh, we had a prime minister um, uh, that was born just outside of St. Mary's and went to school here, Arthur Meehan. Uh, the cement industry, which most people identify with, you know, St. Mary's cement and a lot of the Scottish masons that, that built you know, famous structures or things like our opera house or our town hall that's right to my left here. So St. Mary's has always been a very industrious place that where we've, you know, back in the original days when there were lumber mills on the Thames or where it served as a railway hub for grain movements and all these types of things. St. Mary's is a very special place. It's had a lot of industry, very famous in agriculture for our, our mink production, as well as there's been a number of uh, farms that have produced uh, you know special breeds of, of cattle and that type of thing. Our museum in St. Mary's is, is, we've, is a place that has archives. What we're seeing is a lot of people nowadays coming for genealogy which is very very um, important and very interesting. We've seen a lot of uh, during the pandemic a lot of people doing online research as well. We have a picture St. Mary's site that talks about uh, pictures and so forth uh, of past history that people can do research. The museum in St. Mary's, we, we try and t maintain a lot of our history and people that have passed through, whether it be Nora Clinch, a famous bi violinist who was born here, all, all sorts of things. So at, at the museum, you can research your personal history of families. You can look at old newspapers. You can see um, some of the events and, and things that have happened in, in St. Mary's in the past. We, ha we maintain a, a museum uh, ourselves as a small community, and we have great pride uh, in the museum. It's, it's next to a park, a beautiful park with a stage. Um, where we have performances and a playground area for the children. So the museum was established here in the 1950s. So it was a local women's institute that wanted to establish a museum in our community. They were actually canvassing for artifacts but didn't have a permanent home for these artifacts. So they were using vacant storefronts, classrooms, kind of whatever public indoor space they could get their hands on and an apartment became available in the building we're in today. So they, they moved into just that one apartment. And then as their collection grew, they took over the subsequent apartments until 1980 when the last tenant moved out and they took over the entire building. Um, so actually the space we're in right now is going to be converted into an exhibit entirely on homecoming. Um, it's going to be kind of a nostalgic homecoming theme uh, focused on the downtown. So. A lot of our exhibits focus on 1800s, early 1900s. This exhibit's going to be looking more at the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So those who are coming home for homecoming will uh, hopefully have a nostalgic experience and uh, be able to make a connection and remember some of the things that they see on our walls that weekend. Um, we have a statue of Arthur Meehan in a park on Church Street, and we do get a lot of questions about it. Um, why is it here? And the story I've been told was it was erected in our park in 1986 
Um, it had been on Parliament Hill in Ottawa, but um, Arthur Meehan's wife thought the statue was not a fair representation of him, and it is, it, it is an interesting um, artist rendering of, of Arthur Meehan. So it was put in storage, um, taken off of Par our Parliament Hill, put in storage, and then when Arthur Meehan's wife passed away in the 80s, it was brought to St. Mary's and unveiled here. Um, I think despite its small size, St. Mary's has a little bit of something for everyone. So um, we, as of uh, next or this weekend, actually we're going to have two art galleries in St. Mary's as well as two museums. So from an arts and culture standpoint, there's lots to see and do here. Um, our downtown is a designated heritage conservation district, so um, there's some pretty impressive limestone architecture in our downtown, lots of great shops and restaurants to check out. Um, if you're more into outdoorsy activities, we have the uh, quarry, which will be opening later in June. Um, we have a fantastic trail system in St. Mary's that goes across an 1850s train trestle above the Thames River, which is pretty neat. Um, and we also have a free kayak rental program through the Yak Shack. So um, I'm a paddler. As far as I know, this is the only place you can go and access kayaks for free. Usually there's a pretty hefty rental fee associated with that. So if there are any first time paddlers, uh, I think St. Mary's is a great place to um, make a day trip of and check out paddling for the first time. Your region this week will be right back with a breakdown of the upcoming provincial election. Stay tuned.